Yeah, no, you go, go. Go flip around. Go. Hit the white dot, you go. You hit the white dot, you go. You hit the white dot, you go. You hit the white dot, you get going. You go. Uh -oh. Go. 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 Go.
wait till they cross the left dot, then go. There you go. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Can we please have everyone stand as Sunnyside High School JROTC presents the National Colors and our Mariachi Ensemble plays the National Anthem. Good evening, family, staff, and graduates. 
It is my honor to have the chance to speak to you tonight on this very warm and beautiful evening. A little cold, I lied. But this, the students seated here tonight are the result of the community commitment to bettering all of their lives through education. We could not have reached over 440 graduates for the first time in Sunnyside High School history and 90% graduation rate four years in a row without family and community support. So thank you very much. As a school and community, the bar has been raised. 10 years ago, when a graduation rate was under 50%, we focused primarily on graduation. We, what a change 10 years has made. We are now focused on a school and a community on the bigger picture, on, on college, career, and life. This class epitomizes how the school and district envision has changed. Many of these students have excelled in fact, 46 of these students have above a 3.7 GPA. 12 of these students have committed to serve our country in the U.S. Armed Forces. 31 of these students have their AA degree as well tonight. And many others have completed technical programs. But what makes me the most proud, you'll see 70 yellow cords around the necks of these students. Those 70 cords um, amount to over 10,000 hours of community service in our community. So let's give them all a round of applause, please. Okay, now throughout the year, I've asked a lot of them, what are your plans? What do you plan to do when you leave this high school? Many of them have shared that they're a little bit nervous. They've, they've also said that adult, adults have been telling them for the past few years how difficult the real world is and that it is much tougher than school. I am here to tell you that the real world is not that bad and the future will be bright if you're willing to put effort and work into it. When you leave here, I want to challenge you to continue to move forward knowing that this is only the beginning and to begin making decisions about what is next that isn't based on what is realistic according to societal standards. The fact of the matter is, very few adults are qualified to tell you what is realistic in the future. The world is changing at a very, very rapid pace, and it's impossible to predict with certainty the reality of tomorrow. What if the Apple founder, Steve Jobs, had listened to all the naysayers who said people would never want a computer in their home and people would never want a digital device to listen to music. Imagine if he would have listened to that advice. Had Steve Jobs listened to what was realistic, then none of you would have smartphones in your pockets buzzing right now with your Snapchat notifications during this speech. <laughs> I bet many of you have heard from adults that your dream for the future is great but you better have a backup plan. In fact, I was recently guilty of that when my own middle school son told me that he wasn't going to college in five years. He said he was gonna be a streamer. There is no doubt in his mind that he's going to make a lot of money doing what he loves, even after I gave him every reason why it wasn't realistic and that college would give him some choices. Although I'm still trying to find out how you make money streaming. Your generation has a unique way of looking at the world that my generation doesn't fully understand. Many of you already know that a majority of jobs you'll seek in the future have yet to be created. That is the reality. I want you to begin your life based on what if and throw what is out the window. What if your life could be exactly as you choose? If you could choose a perfect day, what would it look like? What if you could choose the perfect career? what would it be? How would you go about achieving the perfect career? Envision what your perfect life would look like. Dream big and go for it. You have the power to choose how you live your life and how well your life turns out. If you wait, wonder, and doubt, or are indecisive because of what society tells you is realistic, then you're denying the world of who you are, who you can become, and the difference you can make in this world. I'm super excited to see how you turn your what-ifs into reality. 
Good luck in the future and dream big class of 2019. And I really wanna thank you for letting us be part of your lives for four years. Thank you and have a good night. Thank you, Mr. Maxwell. Now I would like to turn the program over to our class speakers. First will be salutatorians, Andrea Limon and Ashley Maldonado, followed by valedictorians, Annette Alcantar and Brittany Zhu. Good evening, everyone. A lot of you don't know me because I don't really like talking in front of a lot of people, so bear with me and heads up. I talk really fast when I'm nervous. Now where do I start? Class of 2019, it is finally here. The day we have all been waiting for. The day we walk across the stage as high school seniors, turning into high school graduates. 13 years of schooling behind us. We've been through a lot together, and I mean a lot. Things are going to change quickly, and I am not here to tell you my life story, but to give you advice that most of you would probably forget by the end of today. So let's begin. Today is the first day of our lives, but so was yesterday, and so shall be each day after that. We now get to make one of the hardest decisions in our lives. We get to decide where we want to go. Trust me, there is endless possibilities and hundreds, if not thousands, of decisions that we have to make in these next couple of years. Let me tell you something. Five years will go by fast, just like the past four years of high school have. Every moment counts, just like in any football game or soccer game. We must make decisions in order to be successful. To achieve success, you must strive to move forward each day. We will not succeed at some times in our lives, but that shouldn't stop us. The lack of success is only failure when you decided to be defeated. Even when you try and fail, you are still moving towards your goal. These years have taught us what hard work and dedication is. Those 12 stressful years of homework, studying, and pulling all those all-nighters, even though it was just a binge watch, <laughs> they have all helped us to what lies ahead. Yes, it was hard, and of course we procrastinated, but things got done. Maybe not the first time, or the second time, or the third time, because we're teenagers, and we have to admit we're kind of lazy. Now, even though we stalled as long as we could, we did it because of the support from everyone around us. Our parents, friends, teachers, and counselors have supported us each and every day. Let's be honest, we probably thought they were, they were all up in our business or that they were getting pretty annoying, but we needed the help. They have given us the extra push we needed to go over the obstacles in life, and for that we should be thankful. With that being said, mom, dad, Thank you for supporting me through everything, even if I was never at home, because I was always at school. And of course, Jackie, Gato, you guys annoy me more than anything else in the world, but I am grateful to have two amazing role models in my life. And I am totally grateful for you too. People like this should support you as long to help us in our journey. Find someone to help guide you to where you want to go in life. Those people help you become the best you you can be. And I ask you to look around, see how far we've come, how hard we have worked to be where we are today. Think of those dreams you have had since the first day we walked into school 13 years ago. Do you think the things we have learned, how we have grown, the friends we made, but most importantly, how fast it all went. One second passed by, and before we knew it, it was our last day of school. Just as fast as today came is how fast the rest of our lives will come. As we head towards our next steps, we need to remember to give it our all. If it is going to the workforce, a military, a trade school, or even a university, we have to give it 100%. Let's not live our lives regretting or wondering what could have been. With that being said, class of 2019, we finally did it. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. It is my honor to be one of this year's graduating class salutatorian. To the class of 2019, congratulations, we did it. All the hard work, dedication, endless hours of studying has prepared us for this moment and all the moments to come in life. 
As a class, we have made friendships that will never end, memories that will never die, and an impact that will last forever. However, high school is not the highlight of our lives. It is the end of the first chapter of the rest of our story. Although it hurts me to say this, today will be the last day our class will be together. But be proud, because tonight marks the first night of the rest of our lives. There are many paths that this graduating class will take. Some will go off to college, others will join the military, and some will enter the workforce. Our paths may cross and diverge, but always remember, everyone here has the power to be successful. No one says it will be easy. Don't expect things to be given to you, but always remember, you have to work hard to achieve big. Composer Colin Davis says it best. The road to success and the road to failure are almost exactly the same. The road to success is much longer and it is built on failures. So don't believe, so don't feel discouraged when you don't have it all figured out right away because there's no telling what the future may hold for you. You have to go out and find it. There will be times we will find success and other times when we fail. But, when, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Failure is not something you should be ashamed of, but rather be used as a learning experience that encourages you to do, to do better in the future. In order to move ahead, you have to acknowledge where you started to appreciate how far you have come. Tonight's graduation is a celebration of the good and bad times, the frustrating and amazing teachers, friends lost and made, and most importantly, a celebration of the future that is awaiting for all of us. It seems so unreal that after all these years, my time here at Sunnyside High School is coming to an end. I remember as a young child attending high school events and couldn't wait to be there. Now here I am years later giving a speech at our graduation ceremony. So I'd like to thank my parents and my family for their endless love and support they've shown over the years and to my teachers for helping me realize my fullest potential and guiding me along this journey. To my fellow classmates, let us never forget our experience at Sunnyside High School. I hope it has been just as enjoyable for you as it has been for me. Thank you class of 2019 for making these past four years an unforgettable experience. I pray that you accomplish all of your hopes and dreams. The ride has been great, but it's time for a new chapter in our storybook. So congratulations class of 2019. Good evening. Buenas tardes. I had a beginning prepared for this, but just like everything else, I kind of forgot about it. So I'm just gonna go through it, bear with me if you're still paying attention. So before our class even began our high school career, we were told that there were gonna be hardships and obstacles. It was never a surprise for us. We already knew it, but they kept telling us it. Not only were we warned about the obstacles we would face in high school, but also the ones we would have in the real world. The class of 2019 is well aware of it. We've gone through it, and we've gotten through it, whether it be fast, slow, or just completely a mess. But today marks the beginning of our big entrance into the real world. So thank you to the parents, relatives, friends, and staff for being here tonight, for supporting us and pushing us forward towards our future. Class of 2019, I'm also proud of you for being here tonight, especially those who spent the last week really working hard to be able to walk with us today. So congratulations to you guys, and I hope that you're all proud of me like all of the students here, just as I am. Sometimes hardships are what influence our future. It is not so much about what the hardship is, but how it influences what we decide and what we're gonna do. Maybe that hardship was the loss of a loved one, a relationship issue, which we're probably gonna forget about in a couple years or maybe a couple weeks hopefully a couple days. <laughs> or maybe it was as simple as forgetting something, like I did with my beginning. <laughs> or maybe something you forgot at home. We've all gone through those at least one point in our lives. And I know I have, and so have my parents. My parents are my greatest influence. 
No, I don't mean there were hardship or obstacle, although we did have our ups and downs, like anyone else. You see, my parents, like many others, were born and raised in Mexico. Mis padres fueron nacidos y criados en México. Y estoy tan orgullosa de ser su hija. Sus familias vivían en condiciones horribles y nomás estaba empeorando. They lived in poor conditions and they were only getting worse. There was little work, little money, and a lot of mouths to feed. When my parents married, they thought of the future, not only for their own families, their parents, their siblings, but also the ones that they would be starting together. <laughs> oh, mom, I see you crying. Poquito trabajo, no tanto dinero, y muchas personas acá a darle de comer. Cuando mis padres se casaron, no más pensaron en el futuro, no más de sus padres, sus hermanos, pero también la que estaban por empezar. They're proud of where they come from, but they knew if they wanted their children to have a better future, then they had to leave. They left everything, their families, their homes, and they risked their lives just for my sister and I's future. And I'm so happy to be here today. Cruzaron la frontera para mi futuro y el futuro de mi hermana. Y estoy tan orgullosa de estar aquí con They worked long and hard in the fields from the moment they stepped into the U.S. <laughs> they worked through the blistering heat. They worked in the harsh weather of the winter. They've supported our family and my grandparents in Mexico since then. Han ayudado no nomás a nuestra familia por trabajar en los campos, sino también a sus padres en México. Y por eso les quiero dar las gracias. Por todos sus sacrificios, por estar aquí con nosotros. I want to thank you for all your sacrifices and for being here for us. They stayed so they could see this, so they could see me graduate. I know it's been hard for them to be apart from their families, especially on my mom. Sé que ha sido muy difícil para ellos estar lejos de sus familias, especialmente para mi mamá. You see, a couple of weeks before senior year even started, we lost my grandma. Perdimos a mi abuela nomás unas semanas antes de que empezara el año escolar. Y fue tan duro para nosotros. Mi abuela alcanzó a ver a mi hermana graduarse, por lo menos con las fotos y los videos. Pero no alcanzó a ver. Eso es uno de los más grandes sacrificios que he visto. It is one of the greatest sacrifices that I'll always remember and I'll always be thankful for. Although she has passed, I hope she is watching me graduate today and I hope that she's proud. I worked hard to be here and I hope that this was enough for them. And I'm glad to be able to speak about their story. Anytime I face a hardship or an obstacle, I think back to their story. Cada vez por, cuando paso por algo difícil, pienso en ustedes. Pienso en cómo llegaron acá y han, han hecho tantas cosas con nosotros. They have taught me that obstacles are not obstacles unless you choose them to be so. You either face it head on or you give up.
there is no in between. And I think the class of 2019 knows that we're gonna face it head on. And we're gonna get past it and we're gonna form a better future for ourselves. Obstacles are meant to push you forward, not back. The learning experiences from these obstacles are what causes us to improve. It's a mentality that we should keep in mind as we go out into the real world and start our new journey. So I hope that this will hopefully stay with you and I hope that you're still paying attention. <laughs> I want to give a special thank you again to my parents. Jaylene, even though we have our fights like all the time. <laughs> And my walking partner David that's been here supporting me for like the longest time and that the staff that's supporting me throughout the entire year my math um, advisors Mr. Lebrat, Ornberg, <laughs> my advisor Mrs. Ramos <laughs> so thank you and thank everybody for being here tonight and supporting us for all our lives gracias Um, before I begin my speech, can I take a video with like all of the class of 2019 real fast? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, so now let me start my speech like for real now. <laughs> I have a lot of bad habits. I'm always late. I waited till last minute to do everything, this speech included, as I wrote this in after school detention the day before Maxwell wanted me to turn it in. <laughs> I talk too much during movies, and I say the word like in like every other sentence. But I have to say my worst habit is never believing in myself. I've always doubted myself in everything, no matter how big or small the situation was. I felt that no matter what I did, it was never good enough. Similar to when I was writing this speech. I was stuck in the mindset that I had lost the battle before I even began. And if you've ever been around me, you know I used to make a lot of self-deprecating jokes and comments. It said that there's some truth in all jokes, and I agree with that. People oftentimes thought I made these comments because it was a part of my sense of humor, but it was more so to hide the way I truly felt about myself. Don't get me wrong, I still do this sometimes, but it's now in more it's more in good fun rather than to mask my insecurities. You might find this ironic of me to be wallowing in self-pity while still maintaining my academic success. But this never stopped me from always trying my best in everything I did, even when the voice in my head would put me down in the process. In spite of my moments of success, it was hard for me to fathom my accomplishments because I was so stuck on the idea that I wasn't going to be able to achieve them. It never really occurred to me that I, would, I should believe in myself because I never felt that anyone else believed in me either. However, it wasn't until my junior year when I had a, room, a moment of realization. I was in my US history class and we were learning about the 36th president of the United States, Lyndon B. Johnson. So a little bit about Lyndon B. Johnson. He was 6'4", and he would often use his size to int intimidate and command others. Absent-mindedly, I said to myself, I wish I was 6'4", so I could do that. And without hesitation, my teacher replied, you don't need to be 6'4", you're Brittany. <laughs> For a brief moment, I was really taken aback as no one has ever shown such sincere belief in me before. And ever since that day, that quote just stuck with me. It helped me realize that the person that I am is more than enough to accomplish the things that I want to do and that there were people who believed in me, even when I was blinded by my own self-doubt. I've come to realize that sometimes my self-doubt came from me not trusting in myself to do the things I wanted to. And other times, I just felt as though I was never deserving of anything I had, whether that be my accomplishments, my friends, my family, or any other amenities in my life. I never truly understood why I was overfilled with self-doubt, but I've gotten a lot better at handling it. However, there are still times I'll catch myself falling back into that mindset. Even this in exact moment, standing here in front of you all, it's unreal to me that I'm graduating top of my class today. But I like to think that now, I have a difficult time believing in good things that happen to me because it's too good to be true, like a dream you don't want to wake up from. 
Before I leave today, I want to thank a series of individuals who have always believed in me. Thank you to my friends who have always reassured me during stressful situations when I would obsessively tear myself down. To my teachers who never had a doubt in their mind that I could accomplish anything I wanted to. To my parents who not only believed in me but expected only great things from me. This upcoming year, I'm moving across state lines for college, but my parents move across the world for me to even get a chance to do that. And to the class of 2019, thank you all for making it this far. Similarly to me, many of you will be the first in your family to graduate from high school. It may seem like a common thing here, but that is something to celebrate. You're here at graduation tonight, and you are the future. You must take this opportunity that you have been provided whether that be from your family, this school, or one you create, to build a better life for yourself and to those around you. Wherever you may go, whether that be away from Sunnyside or in the valley, there will be people that want the same things you want in life. But you have to understand that the world doesn't care about you. At times, we care too much about being the hero to the world and end up neglecting to focus on what truly matters. You're the protagonist of your own story and you control the narrative. Class of 2019, as you go on with your life after high school, I challenge you to write your own story and believe that you have the right to the things you want and trust in yourself to achieve these goals. Thank you. It's been said that teachers have three loves, the love of learning, the love of learners, and the love of bringing the first two loves together. To the class of 2019, Tim Jeffley is that teacher. Not only does Tim share his passion for science, but more importantly, he takes the time to truly listen to his students and get to know each of them. Tim has given Sunnyside High School a great example of what it means to love education. It is my honor to introduce the faculty speaker chosen by the graduating class of 2019, Mr. Tim Jeffley. I know you guys are cold, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Also, by the way, you guys look great tonight. Just you know, you look great tonight. Thank you. All right. I just want to start off by saying thank you to you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys so stinking much. Um, and I've loved, loved, loved these last four years with you guys. Uh, thank you, class of 2019, for giving me this opportunity to speak to you guys. Uh, every time I've gone back to my own high school or my own college graduation, it's kind of funny to me. So as I was preparing for this speech, I was thinking back, what do graduation speakers say? And a lot of times it comes down to them speaking for 10, 15 minutes, and they come down to the point of saying, you did it. And you guys did do it. Here in a minute, you guys are going to walk across this stage but I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna say it again. You did it, good job you guys. <laughs> Tonight is full of so many different moments and emotions, and to be honest, the whole night is probably going to blend together in you guys' minds. I graduated high school exactly 10 years ago now, and to be honest, I really don't remember what the speaker said or what my classmates said. But what I do remember is the people that I was around. I remember the people that were sitting around me. In 10 years, you might, some of you might remember what was said this evening, but what's more likely is that you won't forget the people around you. So here you are. In the book of your life, the high school chapter is over. And it's finally done. And you're faced with this question of, all right, what's next? And I just want to tell you guys, you do not have to have a perfect answer to that question. I promise you don't have to, have to, you don't have, to have a perfect answer to that question. But there are a few things that I do want to challenge you to have figured out as you head into this next stage of life. First of all, know who you are. Know who you are and commit to being you. Living what you stand for, living for what you stand for. Know those values that you want to hold on to and commit to them now. Don't wait. The more that we wait, then the more time that we allow other things to define us. First of all, don't let other people define you and or don't let them tell you who you are. I will say though, surround yourself with people who will push you to be a better you day after day. 
and hold you accountable to being the best version of yourself. Those are the people who will also be honest with you and call you out when needed, because honestly, sometimes you need that. We all do. Additionally, don't let society tell you who to be. Don't let society tell you how you need to act, or what you need to look like, or what you need to be interested in. Don't let the number of followers that you have determine who you are. You determine who you are. Second thing, and I would argue that this is, this is the more important thing I'll say tonight. Remember that your words carry a lot of weight. In life, we never have any idea what the people around us are going through. And we always have opportunities to speak kindness into the lives of others. Sometimes we are the ones who need those words of encouragement spoken to us. Because you know what? Life isn't always okay. Life isn't always good. Everyone's gonna have bad days. It's normal to have bad days. Remember that, it's normal to have bad days. There's going to be tears and there's going to be tough times for everyone. So be the person that is there for your friends and your family when they need you. And then continue to learn how to love the people around you well and support them through those tough times because you're gonna need that at some point as well. I think one of the coolest things that happens in life is when friends are actually there for each other. No conditions, they drop whatever they're doing and they're actually there for each other. And not just when it's convenient. Be that type of person and surround yourself with those types of people. Going along with that same idea, uh, have you ever paid attention to just how much negativity you guys hear in your daily life? Just think about it. And we all do this, uh, but think about who your best friend is right now. Think about the best friend in your whole entire life. Who is that person? You have them in your mind, hopefully. In all the time that you spend with them, when was the last time that you actually told your best friend what you appreciate about them? When was the last time that you actually asked your best friend, hey, how are you? And actually had a conversation and said, hey, how are you doing? And sat and listened. It's easy to just say, but a lot of times we just don't do it. Uh, at one point in time, I, me and my best buddy, we had a streak of over 400, and I was super proud of that. But I realized, literally, I had no idea how he was doing in his life. I hadn't talked to him on the phone, I hadn't checked in with him, and we had this streak, we snapped each other every day, sweet, that's great, but I had literally no idea how he was doing. So just think about that. We all do this, and my challenge for you guys is to be intentional. Your words do carry a lot of weight, and words of kindness can go a really long way. People remember words and people remember actions. And when I was a freshman in high school, I remember after basketball practice, uh, one of the upperclassmen came up to me and these words will always stick in my mind. But literally after practice, he just came up to me and he was like, good job today, Timmy. And that, it's, it's one of those things, it's such a simple thing, but that's stuck in my mind. I'm 28 years old now and I still remember back to my freshman year of high school, those four words. Your words, it's the exact same thing, your words have power. And people will remember what you say to them and how you act. Again, we're living in a world where people are going through stuff all the time, and I challenge you to get comfortable with being intentional and telling the people in your life why you appreciate them. Your words of power, use them for good. Third, and last, get out of your comfort zone in this next stage of life. That's where you're going to experience growth, and those are the moments you will look back on and be thankful for. It's okay to be nervous and it's okay to be scared. I promise it's okay to be nervous and it's okay to be scared. You don't always have to be comfortable. <laughs> But don't let that fear paralyze you and keep you from moving forward. I can't tell you how many times I've had to force myself just to step into uncomfortable situations. And when you look back on those moments, you see the beauty and you see the growth through those moments. So step into those uncomfortable situations in this next stage of your life. Most of you guys know I didn't grow up here and honestly, moving to a place that I, I didn't know anyone. That was, that was one of those areas where it pushed me to grow. But something I want you guys, class of 2019, to know, uh, you guys have made this place feel like home for me. And I appreciate that so much. You guys have made this place home for me. For that, I'm gonna forever be grateful. And you guys have changed my life. You make me wanna be a better man today than I was yesterday. Keep doing exactly that. Keep on being who you are. And keep on representing your families, all these people. I don't know if you guys have looked around yet, but you guys have represented your family so well. You guys are a phenomenal group of young women and young men. And I'm really excited for you guys. So, be you. Use words of encouragement and words of kindness and do that regularly. And then get out of your comfort zone in this next stage of your life. You're gonna walk across this stage really, really soon. Uh, but before you do, I know the stadium's packed, but I want you guys to find your family, find your close friends, everyone who's sitting up here, know where they're at. And as you guys are walking up, identify where they're at because when you cross this stage and receive your diploma, let them know that you appreciate them and that you love them. They're here for you guys. 
I'm stoked for you guys. I'm so thankful for you guys. And I've, lovely, I've loved these past four years with you guys here at Sunnyside High School. I'm going to miss you guys all so much. For real, for real. <laughs> you all have some amazing stuff ahead of you in your life. I love you all. And I'll be praying for you guys as you head into this next chapter of your life. Congratulations. I'm going to say this on the behalf of myself and not just the high school staff, but Sunnyside School District. You guys have so many people around here that love you guys so much. And they've, they've, they just love celebrating with you guys. So find those people tonight. Um, I just want to say congratulations. Well done. Good job, you guys. At this time, I would like to bring up the senior class counselor. She's devoted herself to building relationships, connecting her students to our school, and helping them envision their future. Please help me in acknowledging senior class counselor, Mrs. Maribel Madrigal Mendez. Good evening, graduates. The class of 2019 has many talented and motivated students. In scholarships, grants, and financial aid awards, this scholarship, this class has earned nearly $3.5 million. This is truly a great achievement. Class of 2019, I challenge you to remain focused, have faith, and believe in yourself. It has been my pleasure to have served you as your counselor. Thank you. At this time, we would like to recognize our male and female athlete of the year. These student athletes were selected by the head coaches of Sunnyside High School. Recipients, please come to the stage once I say your name. The class of 2019 female athlete of the year is Ashley Maldonado. Class of 2019 Male Athlete of the Year is Alexis Espinoza Roldan. Good evening. My name is Gabe Darvison. I'm the assistant principal here at SHS. I'm honored tonight to announce this year's outstanding senior boy and girl. The senior boy and girl were voted on by the senior class. Students there vote on the manner in which each of these students contributed to the success of the class. At this time, Mrs. Stacy Alseth and Mr. Tim Jeffley will aid me in handing out this year's award. The Outstanding Senior Boy Award for the class of 2019 is Jose Solis. Outstanding Senior Girl Award for the class of 2019 is Ashley Maldonado. Ah. All right, now board president, Mrs. Lindy, and school board members, I am pleased to announce that those seated before you are eligible to participate in tonight's ceremony. Morgan Doyne, senior class president, will announce the names of each graduate. Angel Benito Gonzalez. Isaiah Gonzalez. Justin Mendoza. Ivan Frosto. Moses Ayala. 
David Espinoza. Austin Bliesner. Edgar Salgado. Jose Campos. Andrew Penaloza. AJ Borja. Diego Gomez Alvarado. Abraham Ariola. Rodolfo Angel Casas. Ismael Hanahosa. Brianna Nieto. Taylor Garza. Annalisa Martinez. Karina Lopez. Annette Alcantar. Brittany Jew. Andrea Limon. Ashley Maldonado. Janessa Frank. Alicia Perez. Alicia Perez Frank. Gabriela Rocha Morphine. Crystal Rangel. Lizette Gonzalez. Jennifer Ochoa. George Gonzalez. Jose Guadalupe Solis. Enrique Palma Reyes. Osman Lysia. Alex Calvillo. Julian Mitchell. Johnny Heffron. Alexis Espinosa. Alexis Ochoa. Dakota Golden. Joseph Calderon. Enrique Valencia. James Jimenez. Fernando Casas. Jermaine Garcia. Brianna Toscano. Stephanie Perez. Macy Drew Clough. Jacqueline Garcia Hernandez. Nada Rodriguez. Kiana Helner Gomez. Brielle Newhouse. Chastity Garza. Karina Colin Corona. Boala Villanueva. Nora Cisneros Toscano. Joanna Torres. Alex Parch. Jessica Estrada. Sulem Bernal. Ivan Gonzalez. Jesus Lopez Morfin. Carlos Chavez. Dylan Clampett. Ethan Montalongo. Jonathan Hill Jr. A. 
Abel Dominic Dimitri Ortega. Dimitri Ortega. Justin Moreno Rios. Ivan Godinez. Jose Salazar. Adam Wela. Emmanuel Lopez Villa. Alejandro Cavio. Jose Reyes. Cesar Casas. Yvette Gonzalez. Aya Saroma. Giselle Garcia. Malia Esqueda. Gabrielle Licona. Arcelia Madrigal. Anaí Peralta. Rebecca Shanneman. Yuriel Quiroz. Valeria Mora. Karen Marquez. Myra Hernandez Gonzalez. Heidi Lemus Castillo. Lizbeth Cincinnati. Castillo. Lizbeth Cincinnati. Karina Anguien Alvarez. Leo Madrigal. Kristen Lopez. Jonah Gomez. Kristen Mendez. Leonel Prancata. Brian Acosta. Juan Perez. Mario Nargete. Guillermo Negrete. Christian Roldo. Johnny Martinez. Noe Comorna. David Torres Rivera. Edgar Rivera. Nathan Zambrano. Danielle Lapier. Edith Rangel. Angela Duarte. Mariela Contreras Casas. Kiana Garcia. Anaí Morfin. Noelia Jimenez. Mireya Negrete. Rebecca Gomez. Trinity Hamill. Brianna Granado. Vivian Regina Ramos. Ariana Alvarez. Jocelyn Martinez. Anayeli Tellez. Saul Aparianov. Ethan Weaver. Vincent Martinez. Jose Barreras. Fernando Torres. Isaiah Lopez. Carter Parsons. Rafael Larios. Nathaniel Prescott. Sammy Guerrero. Ignacio Lamas. Alejandro Magana. Juan Jose Rodriguez III. Adrian Sanchez. Ayrton Hobbs. Brianna Lopez. Madison Flores. Anaí Lupercio. Annabelle Cortez. Fidela Santiago. Carla Cardenas.
Maritza Contreras. Natalia Jimenez. Mariah Marie Signs. Stephanie Blankenship. Eva Maria Guerra. Yanira Frelicosta. Mackenzie Murphy. Yoslyn Perez. Mariela Rivera Garcia. Clayton Robert. Ismael Chavez. Kevin Sanchez. Sergio Chavez. Ulysses Miranda. Christian Chavez. Nathan Davila. Marcus Taylor Maldonado. Ivan Garcia. Andres Macias. Christopher Lopez. Julian Diaz. Rico Navarro. Isaac James Briones. Oscar Macias. Odali Torres. Maritza Jacobo Cortez. Kevin Chavez. Elizabeth Baltazar. Marili Silva. Jaslyn Serna Negrete. Isis Gaitan Salas. Jada Denson. Jenny Montoya. Carmen Sabranta. A Lady Chidas. Shanae Marie Sanchez. Lali Silva Mendoza. Kiana Cuellar. Karina Cuevas. Marcos Milanes. Alex Marquez. Kobe Garcia. Fabian Chavez. Isaac Soberanas. Yuriel Gomez. Ricardo Herrera. Sergio Rodriguez. Francisco Javier Lagunas. Hector Cardenas. Alejandro Luciano Pina. Marcus Torres. Derek Andrew Escamilla. Juan Alvarado. Jesus Barajas. Anai Alquitira. Gina Lopez. Tanya Alvarez. Michaela Campos. Alexis Monique Cincineros. Jocelyn Yvette Mendez. Megan Rodriguez. Samantha K. Newberry. Samantha Yvette Galindo. Sandra Villa Marquez. Maria Fernandez. Elena Fernandez. Maria Alcantar Gomez. Valerie Robledo. Steven Salazar Ruiz. Damien Chavez. Daniel Madrigal. Andre Hernandez. Alexander Mendez. Jose Lozano. Isaac Villaneta. 
Julio Geronimo. Chris Sanchez. Carlos Rivas. Alex Duenas. Gilbert Perales. Angel Mendez. Mario Rizzo Arena. Carlos Mencia. Jasmine Brahms. Lexani Espino. Melissa Alvarez. Alicia Angelic Martinez. Kaylee Silva. Amber Avalos. Arceli Madrigal. Marlene Navarro Jimenez. Dulce Maria Chavez. Juliana Monteria. Bailey Hazard. Ashley Torres. Annabelle Alvarez. Melissa Medina. Adilena Montezuka. Marcos Macias. Juan Jose Madrigal. Jose Vargas. Oscar Cruz Palma. Christian Geike. Jose Salaya. Junior Escareno. Miguel Torres. Jonathan Dalrymple. Jared Muzzy. Brian Ramos. Damian Benitez. Caden Maxwell. Angel Sanchez. Jose Virieta. Margarita Ruby Valencia. Esmeralda Villafana. Adriana Jimenez. Dianara Medina. Yasmin Sanchez. Leslie Sanchez. Rebecca Valle. Maria Aquino. Evany Verdusco. Kyla Bunch. Lizette Jada Martinez. Juliana Sacedo. Gracia Chavez. Elizabeth Embrys. Paloma Civil Cuevas. Jacqueline Lizette Cervantes. Jason Anthony Pena Jr. Ramiro Garcia. Irvin Villa. Oscar Rosales. Axel Ortega. Jose Martinez. Michael Medellas. Seth Warren. Omar Delgado. Kevin Rodriguez. Darren Loya. Mauricio Alvarado. Armando Zoko. Jose Sobranas. Isaiah Garcia. Alexandria Rodriguez. Maria Creo Espinosa. Elizabeth Brito Fernandez. Andrea Tovar Lopez. Samantha Lycheski. 
Julia Omedo. Viviana Lizette Morello. Michelle Aguila. Yadira Morello. Leslie Maria Rivera. Perleta Vila. Reina Campos. Yaradi Ochoa. Lizeth Marin. Ari Limon. Julian Rodolfo Alaniz. Jared Stephen Case. Daniel Noriega. Antonio Frosto. Javier Solis. Ignacio Ochoa Jr. Isaiah Anthony Alvarado. Miguel Fernandez. Alexis Fernandez. Alexis Fernandez. Abraham Rodriguez. Emilio Bueno. Martin Puga. Ismael Sanchez Hernandez. Luis Tafoya Garcia. Marcus Rivera Sanchez. Kaylee Alvarez. Stephanie Rodriguez. Gabby Estrada. Miranda Montes. Joanna Ruela. Veronica Ruiz. Leslie Estrada Lua. Aureli Duarte. Azareli Duarte. Jasmine Yvonne. Jasmine Yvonne Lopez. Ariana Macias. Kimberly Estrada. Sivana Mereras. Isaura Minazo. Abigail Tapia. Eric Alboras. Alan Partida. Jalen David Navarro. Ivan Abonza Calderon. Martin Timothy Cervantes. Juan Carlos Campos. Jonathan Pacheco. Rafael Navarro. Christian Ayala. Xavier Mendoza. Jared Salmaron. Seraphine Lopez. Javier Gonzalez. Moises Ramirez. Mark Aranda. Sierra Ikiba. Mina Gatika. Sulamita Sarai Vargas. Kailani Anika Koyar. Emily Shelley. Carolina Estrada Hernandez. Esther Mateo. Brianna Martinez. Brianna Martinez. Daisy Damien. Natalie Barrios. Brianna Acosta. Brianna Escobar. Maria Muniz Ramos. Adelina Maria Prato. Cassie De La Rosa. Jocelyn Quitana. Edgar Almador. Lorenzo Ramirez. Nathan Guzman. Edward Anthony Vergara. Pedro Damian Mendez. What? Pedro Damian Mendez. Pedro Damian Mendez. Valentin Sanchez. What? 
Jose Cavio. Carlos Cavio. What? Jared Carrillo. Jared Carrillo. Ruben Lores. Dion Gonzalez. Dion Gonzalez. Francisco Mendez. What? Artemio V. Quintero. Miguel Silva. Jeremy Boteo. Miriel Lopez Perez. Serena Salas. Alondra Garcia. Margari Vientio. Veronica Godino. Miriam Galvan Nunez. Stacey Aitan. Maria Penalosa. Claudia Foriano. Destiny Paliana. Guad Maria Guadalupe Sacero. Consuelo. De Guadalupe Consuelos. Andrea, Andrea Marie Cardenas. Andrea Marie Cardenas. Esterita Nunez. Maria Soberanes. Craig Timothy Saunders. Anthony Wood. Ricardo Torrentino Morales. Anthony Rivera Matthew. Hunter Robert. Giovanni Sandoval. Marco Hernandez. Alex Sanchez. Yesenia Jean Pacheco. Chastity Collier. Nayeli Opispo. Cassandra Marie Gonzalez. Yahida Gonzalez. Belen Isabella Ruiz. Mackenzie Newen. Debbie Bonia. Mercedes Rene Zavala. Giselle Ruby Garcia. Paula Sorio. Francia Ramos. Jacqueline Sines. Nayeli Magallon. Litsi Chavarin Maldonado. Litsi Chavarin Maldonado. Estrella Mateo Mariento. Mireya Chanta Cincineros. Sofia Herrera. Dejana Cruz. Emily Lee Villarreal. Jessica Myra Estrada. Lindsay Escamilla. Angie Sanchez. Marisol Peralta. Esther Villafon. Samantha Mendoza. <laughs> Tiffany Martinez. Liliana Gerardo. Mariah Ren Pena. Itzel Annalisa Suevas. Louis Larissa Rees. Ruby Rosas. Maria Parra. Janisa Gomez. Jennifer Cervantes. Adela Magana. Yasmin Torres. 
Kara Mraz. Julissa Gomez. Malia Guadalupe Navarra. Ebony Marie Campos. Victoria Danielle Cardenas. Vanessa Garado. Beverly E. Hart. Claire Reed. Marilyn Navarro Campos. Clarissa Calderon. And your senior class president, Morgan Elizabeth Dorn. And now gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2019. Thank you all for making this a great graduation ceremony. At this time, we will be dismissing our faculty. Please acknowledge their hard work for the support they've given to the class of 2019 with a round of applause. As the graduates march out, the young women will move towards the East Goal Post to meet their families, and the young men will be heading toward the West Goal Post. The graduates will be entering the high school graduation party in about 30 minutes. Grads, please do not leave the stadium as you will not be able to come back in. Now please rise in honor this year's graduates of Sunnyside High School as they march out to the recessional. Congratulations class of 2019. We are all very proud. <laughs>